G'day and welcome to the sneak peek at our upcoming Continuum Shader that will be designed mainly for the latest Optifine version H0 for 1.8.9. In this updated Optifine, in case you don't already know, the creator of Optifine has now added a Shader Options tab. And in there you will now have access to all the defines and more that are set up throughout the shader files. Now if you already have this Optifine version you may have already accessed this tab and have been faced with an absolute mess of tabs. Like this. But what this now allows us shader developers to do is actually manually set up this menu to how we see fit and have what features can be turned on and off and even have options for changing say the shadow resolution to set predefined numbers or even change the amount of cloud coverage. Having this now in the shaders mod slash optifine will allow us to give you all a greater control over what effects you want on to change how some effects look and even change the colour of the tone mapping if we so desire to set that up. This is something that me and Joey have wanted for a very long time is that we've been wanting to be able to give you all the choice in how you want your shaders to look. And this now makes it easier than ever for you to all set up your shaders to see how you see fit instead of actually opening up the shader files and making changes within it. Now if you don't have the latest version of Optifine, you can get it from the Minecraft forums page on page 2371. Just scroll down to around here, it is a preview of the Optifine version. What you have to do is just click the download and follow the steps from there. Now with this uh, next release that we're going to be making, we are aiming that there will only be two versions for you all to choose from now. One being the standard shader and the other will be a depth of field version. No longer will, be, will there be multiple versions for you to all choose from, just the one. Once you have the shader, you'll simply go into the shader options and you'll be able to choose which version that you actually want. Once you've downloaded the shader, you'll simply go into the shader options by clicking on this tab just down here. In here you actually see a whole range of tabs that you can choose from. At the very top will be the predefined uh, versions that you can choose from. So you can choose from low, medium, standard, high and ultra. Now when you download uh, the shader the default will be set at high. This is mainly because this is what we intend the shader to look like. And it is mainly for people that have the, the higher end cards like the GTX 980s, 970s and all of those ones. Now just to give you an example of how this is going to work, we can set this to low. You click done. What will happen then is it will reload the shader. And now you're running in the low version. Now just uh, to make a better example, this here is still in the low version setting. We can now go to say the standard version. Hit done. And there you go. Now you've got global illumination. It is all set up now for the standard version. Then you just cycle through and select which one that you need instead of having to download multiple versions. In junction with this actual predefined profile setup you can now actually have access to individual features throughout the shader. So say if you're running on the standard uh, profile and you want 3D biometric clouds you can now just click say to the clouds tab turn clouds on click done and there you have it. Put your biometric clouds on this will allow you to actually swap and change out features as you see fit and customize the shader to how you want. A lot of these other tabs hold other 
features such as shadows, you can enable soft shadows on and off, change the shadow map resolution and the distance of the shadows. Performance will allow you to enable global illumination, parallax occlusional mapping or specular mapping, even change the quality of the GI. Waving holds all your waving elements such as vines, leaves, grass and that. God rays enables you to now turn the God rays on and off. Weather is got your rain lens, rain fog, and you can actually change how thick the rain fog is with uh, predefined numbers. Details you can actually now change the cave brightness <coughs> to preset numbers. Uh, you can turn your lens flare on and off. Morning fog, atmospheric fog. <clears throat> this one here is quite interesting, color desaturation. If you wanted to, you can actually turn the color completely off. So it is now black and white. The clouds you can turn your clouds on and off you can even change the amount of coverage so if you want to you can make it a really overcast day with lots of cloud clubber or you can even change it so there's only a very slight amount of cloud cover now Now the goal of the Continuum Shader has always been to allow you a bit more access to customise it to how you see fit. And having these shader options now enables us to give that to you guys. In here you can also change things like the water parallax and just some other random bits and pieces here and there. Now. If you've gone through and say change a lot of effects, there is a reset button which will restore it back to the default settings. Once done, hit OK. And there you go. Now this uh, updated version that will be coming out soon will be mainly for like I said the 1.8.9 shader. And as you can see POM is now pretty much fixed. It's still a work in progress. There might still be some shader packs, or sorry, not shader packs, texture packs that will look a bit odd with it. Um, and not only that, but the actual shaders uh, option menu uh, is subject to change, as we might eventually add more and more features to it, and even change the layout, perhaps. Now this is probably the biggest thing that happened to the actual shaders mod itself in a long while and we're really happy with how it's looking and how it's all working. It also makes it easier for us to just now supply one to two versions available for download for you guys. And not only that but it probably also makes uh, some tutorials on how to enable certain effects pretty much obsolete now since it's so easy just to change it within the game. And you're probably all wondering when this version will be available and well, with their actual release date. We're waiting on still a couple of features to be implemented uh, before it is actually ready. We've uh, contacted the Optifine uh, creator and he is working on implementing these. So as soon as they are in, we'll most likely have a version available to you guys within the next day or two. Well, this just about wraps it up. Um, I hope you guys are really looking forward to this as we are and I'll catch you all next time. Bye bye.